Welcome to Jenny Talks. Today, I'll tell you a bizarre story about an American Olympic champion who turned to prostitution after retiring. This athlete is Susie Hamilton, who represented the U.S. in three Olympic Games. Shockingly, after retiring, she became a well-known escort. Was it because she needed money? Actually, no. There's more to the story. Let's start from the beginning. Susie Hamilton was a famous American middle-distance runner. She had a tall, slim build, a pretty face, and golden hair. Because of her outstanding appearance, she even endorsed major sports brands like Nike and Reebok. In the 1992 and 1996 Olympics, Susie won bronze and silver medals in the 1500 meter race, respectively. Her father was in poor health, and when she brought the silver medal home in 1996, his first words to her were, "Congratulations! I hope I can see you win gold in four years." Susie understood that her father wanted her to win a gold medal. Susie didn't have a good relationship with her father. Her teenage years were spent under his strict demands. She wasn't interested in track and field initially, but her father forced her to run five kilometers every day. Her life was joyless, and her father showed no sympathy, only pushing her to go faster, faster. His harshness even drove her mother away. Susie hated and feared her father, but she also loved him. Despite a sad and monotonous life, she obediently ran on the path her father set for her, eventually reaching college and the Olympics. The continuous overworking and her father's pressure for a gold medal led Susie to depression. In October 1999, Susie's brother committed suicide due to depression. Losing her only confidant worsened her emotional state. Her coach and father kept pushing her towards winning, as if the gold medal was more important than her happiness, health, or anything else. In October 2000, during the Sydney Olympics, as she sprinted 70 meters from the finish line, Susie suddenly saw the stern faces of her coach and father. She blacked out and fell. Despite the pain her coach and father felt afterwards, Susie didn't regret not winning the gold. In fact, she felt a bit pleased. Soon after, Susie's father passed away, and she completely gave up on sports. In 2002, at 38, she married her high school sweetheart, Mark Hamilton, and they started a real estate business in Wisconsin. Due to her Olympic fame, the U.S. Sports Association arranged up to 60 motivational speeches for her each year. But these speeches brought her anxiety, not glory. That fall during the race made her feel guilty. After her daughter was born, Susie suffered from postpartum depression. Despite treatment, her mental health remained unstable. During this time, she noticed that sex made her feel particularly good. The next day, it lifted her mood and filled her with energy. So she constantly sought her husband's company. However, Susie's athletic stamina quickly overwhelmed her husband, who began avoiding her with excuses like business trips and overtime. This left Susie increasingly anxious. Neither Mark nor Susie realized she had developed a rare sexual addiction. This condition often affects men and women in their 30s and 40s, similar to addiction to drugs, gambling, or alcohol. When the urge strikes, they will drop everything to seek relief, eventually becoming psychologically dependent. To make his wife happy, Mark bought her a ticket to a male brothel in Las Vegas. Susie loved it. After her first visit, she went back twice more, paying for male escorts each time. Then she thought, "Why should I pay for escorts?" Why not become one, enjoy it, and make money? So she proposed this idea to a brothel owner in Las Vegas. The owner was thrilled. Susie was young, beautiful, and energetic—a potential gold mine. Soon, the sexy Susie joined the famous Heidi Fleiss Private Collection brothel and quickly became a top earner. On the company's website, Susie used the alias Kelly, posting several revealing photos of her hot body, though her face was blurred to protect her identity as a celebrity. Kelly's clients were evidently very satisfied with her services, leaving comments like, "Every penny spent on her is worth it." As more clients specifically requested her, Susie's hourly rate soared to six hundred dollars. She frequently traveled by private jet to serve clients in top hotels in cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, and Houston. Eventually, an entertainment journalist known as the Revealer noticed the striking resemblance between Kelly, the sexy escort in Las Vegas, and former track star Susie, posing as a client. He arranged to meet Susie at a hotel. Once inside the room, Susie began undressing, but the journalist's phone rang. He left six hundred dollars and quickly departed. Unbeknownst to Susie, the journalist had recorded everything with a hidden camera. Soon, Susie's profile and the video were uploaded to the famous American expose site Smoking Gun. The revelation caused an immediate uproar in the U.S. Even more shocking was that Susie's husband Mark knew all along about her second career as an escort. He told reporters, "She is so passionate about sex. Seeing it lift her out of depression. What could I say?" Under intense media scrutiny, Susie explained, "I am not a victim. On the contrary, being an escort has given me confidence and joy."